Hi, I'm Tree and this is Stitchless TV. Now today is a very special day. It's a very, very long overdue results of our spring sculptural bucket coat competition. lucky because our top top prize has been sponsored by the digital fabric print company called Fashion Formula. In the previous sculptural bucket coat competition, um, the winter one, the prize was three meters of this waterproof fabric with the New York print on it and also some of the writing. The winner of that competition was Judd and did you see the amazing coat that she made? Look at this because it's completely fantastic. So that brings us on to the sculptural bucket coats that were entered into um, our spring competition. So should we have a look at those now? Now with it being the spring sculptural bucket coat, we didn't have as many entries as we did for our winter one, but I guess that's a bit obvious really. So who shall we begin with? Right, let's begin with, I can, I can only say the names as they're shown in social media, okay? So I've got Nick Appleton, so she made this very nice wool, felted wool coat with a gorgeous kind of oriental brocade lining. Pretty amazing, Nick. And this person, so much to learn on Instagram. So this person, she made her coat out of the same as, as this brown sculptural bucket coat and the fabric is from Minerva Crafts and she's got the version that has flowers on it. Now she did say that her son took these photos but I don't know they're pretty good. So that was so much to learn on Instagram. So we've got Laura Ventolini she's done some fantastic goes faster stripes with denim Okay, I know I'm not pronouncing this correctly, and she's Italian, it's really terrible. Um, but I don't know how the name's broken up. So I've got Orlo Subito. I know, I'm embarrassing myself big time there. <laughs> so this was her twelve, which I really like, <laughs> actually. Now she does loads of refashioning and upcycling, like that's really her thing. So she got loads of pieces of fabric and old jeans and clothing and she's put them all together to create this new fabric. And then look at this, must have taken ages. She's done this patchwork and she's pieced them together. So you can see the pattern coming together now of the sculptural bucket coat wings at the side or buckets at the side. And then look, we got this far and then she went on holiday <laughs> so she hasn't finished it but I thought it was really worthy of me showing it to you now this is a super posh posh coat and it's from a beautiful lady that's part of this advanced style movement that exists in America and in the UK you should look them up because there are some fantastic women on there anyway so this lady's name is Leslie Gelber and I don't need to say anything look at this coat look at the fabric now all her photos are taken by this photographer called Denton Taylor so we've got to give him a mention but that coat and the styling of it is so good right now we've got on Instagram she's called She's over 50. Well, that's me then, isn't it? <laughs> um, so look at her coat. I 
the fabric. Wow, this fabric is gorgeous. So obviously this is in the winter. So this was one of our first entries for the spring sculptural bucket coat competition. But seriously nice. And she hurt her finger while she was making it. This lady is called Heather. And on Instagram, she's called Fen Landlady. Now, her coat was made of a pleated spine down the back and out of a really special fabric. And apparently, she went into a store and a lady came up to her and said, Oh my God, where did you get, where did you get that coat from? And so she said that she made it and that it was the sculptural bucket coat. And this lady that she didn't know at all apparently was, um, was going to be going to a wedding that weekend, I think. And Heather lent her her coat to wear to the wedding. And look, this is the lady wearing the coat. I love that. Now it gets very confusing because <laughs> some coats were coming in from Facebook and some were coming from Instagram and people have uh, different names on the different platforms. But I've got to show you this. So this is Helen Strudwick and her coat is made out of an upholstery fabric. And I think you will agree that the formation of it is just perfect. Look at that, look at the way it looks at the back. Now that came in really early on as well. That is so beautiful, Helen. I, I love that. So this is Tina, this is Tina's coat. Now those Go Faster stripes are seriously gorgeous. So this next coat was made of fabric from the Cloth House in Berwick Street. Um, and it was made by Kylie. Now Kylie had hardly sewn before, but she made such a great, great coat with a fantastic finish. And then this coat is made by Wendy. Wendy used an oriental fabric that she bought for peanuts, apparently, on her local market. Okay, so this woman on Instagram, she's called the Ferocious Felter. She's been so creative. Look at this border that she's done down, down the front and the cuffs on this coat. And wait till you see the back. Oh, wow. That back, those buckets, the proportions are just perfect. Now, Dawn then went on to uh, making this other, oh, my favourite colour, this other kind of Eve's Klein blue coat. The fabric was from Fabworks. They're an online fabric company. And look at that. She's put it with this fantastic velvet ribbon as well. And then kind of accent buttons. But once again, I love, I just love, look at her frayed cuffs. I just love the kind of details on it, but particularly that colour. Wow. Well done, Dawn. Next is Sally Scott. This looks like a backed lace fabric, but I think it's kind of like a lacy denim actually. So this is uh, Sally Scott's coat. Fantastic. Oh, look at the drapes at the back. I love the shape at the back there. Beautiful, beautiful coat. And then, and then I got this really, really lovely one. So this is from H Hattie J. Chapman. Apparently she sings in a, a women's chorus and she's made the sculptural bucket coat as a dress out of linen and it looks lovely. Now this one can't be an overall winner but I really want to share it with you. So it was made by uh, Mumtaz from the Craft Cafe. Uh, we've actually got a, a film interviewing Mumtaz all about her craft books and her craft and travel blog. And the reason why I want to share it with you, because I thought it was such a brilliant idea. So what she did was, she went up to Leicester, where there's a big Asian community, and she specifically 
bought a sari that she could then hopefully use for making her sculptural bucket coat. So she brought it along to one of our sculptural bucket coat workshops and made this. Look, it's just too amazing. Look at, look at that. But I did think I was going to kill it actually because this sari was covered in these hot fix Duamontes and half of Mumtaz's time, or my time, was spent having to iron the hot fix Diamante and then pull it off. And we, we had to do that down all of the seams. But even I tried to pinch it. It was so gorgeous. So that isn't an entry, Mumtaz. So that's not an entry for this competition, but I just felt I had to share it with you. So do you want to have a look at some of the prizes? So these are the second and third prizes. I haven't really worked out in which order, actually. Anyway, this is a New York print, this one here. Just about make it out. It's a New York print and it's printed onto sequin fabric. And there's like 40 centimetres by about 120 which means it's enough to make a Japanese tote bag similar to this Japanese tote bag. So our other prize is about half a metre, although it's probably more like 60 centimetres, of this waterproof fabric from Fashion Formula. It's called Tentex. I think that's how you say it with our New York print on it, and that's from a fashion formula as well. About 60 centimetres, I think. And I'm even going to give you some of this text print. So I think that should be the second prize, actually. This fabric is printed onto their Bayer uh, upholstery fabric, which is really like a uh, textured velvet fabric. It, but it has still, look, it's still got a good drape on it, even though it's an upholstery fabric. Now, I've printed the fabric. So I've got this painting of um, Frida Kahlo, <laughs> Frida Kahlo. And I've put it onto a camouflage background that I created but because I thought it was a bit hard I've scattered the odd rows here and there you can see why it's really hard I don't like this bit at all <laughs> okay the winner of the spring 2018 Sculptural bucket sewing pattern competition. In fact, this pattern, oh, I should mention it. So the winner is, and remember, the winner gets two and a half meters or three meters, can't remember. This Bayer upholstery, very drapey velvet fabric with Frida Kahlo. <laughs> printed on it. So the winner is Dawn the Ferocious Felter. Woo! Sorry. So Dawn, you're going to have to email me or DM me on Instagram and tell me where I sent your prize to. And congratulations. But you totally deserved it. Really, particularly that Eve's Climb one, that, that Eve's Climb blue, that just did it for me. So now, I mean really there were about three winners, but I, I couldn't really afford to do all the fabric. Um, so, so, second prize goes to Leslie Gelber. And I think she lives in New York. <laughs> So you could have easily, obviously, been the first prize winner as well. 
So I think that your prize should be, don't you? Should be this New York fabric. Look, you've got that much of it. So you might be able to make a little cropped jacket because you've also got these words as well. But it also would make a fantastic Japanese tote bag. Just saying. Oh, which brings us to third prize. Oh, there were so many people that could have been the third prize. So this will be the third prize. But you might decide to do some sort of little top. So third prize is Helen and her gorgeous coat made out of upholstery fabric. You get this piece, which doesn't exist anywhere else by the way, um, of this New York printed sequin fabric. So well done Helen and massive thank you for your entry. It's really, really gorgeous. So I hope you like your sequin fabric. Now we'll be doing this again for winter and we'll have more brilliant prizes. So if any of you are interested in purchasing any of my uh, digital printed fabrics, um, you can comment below if you want to know more about pricing and stuff. But they are quite expensive. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Keep making your sculptural bucket coats because you can make them like evening coats as well. A bit like this one. And I'll see... Oh, don't forget to watch the video. Don't forget to watch the video of how to make it. And I hope you like your fabric, Dawn, the ferocious felter. Congratulations, it's yours. Bye.